So, if you follow anything digital photography related, you have probably seen a lot of videos discussing the closure of DP Review, and I thought I'd make a video like that myself because that website is uh, very dear to me <laughs> as a person who is addicted to photo and video gear, uh, you know, uh, with constant uh, upgrades and whatnot. And uh, it's really a big loss because uh, DP Review, uh, for those of you who don't know, is this website that has been reviewing cameras for 25 years now. And uh, Amazon decided to just up and close them. And I think it's travesty. So I don't remember when I stumbled upon DP Review, but I do remember that in 2010, my uncle gave me my first DSLR, Nikon D80. Thank you, Uncle Victor. You're the best. So having got a DSLR, I had to learn how to use it. And uh, I started Googling uh, different things, different reviews, you know, to learn about the features and so on. And uh, I think it was DP Review uh, where I learned uh, that you could actually shoot in RAW format and uh, get much better quality out of your camera by converting these RAW files on your computer rather than shooting JPEGs uh, straight to your camera. Fast forward to 2012. I'm visiting my uncle and uh, they've upgraded to a Nikon D90. Now, that was one of the first cameras, if not the first uh, DSLR uh, cameras that had a video mode. And I was just blown away by it because uh, at that time you could either shoot video on uh, a camcorder or, uh, you know, a point and shoot camera. And you couldn't really get that nice creamy bokeh, you know, that uh, blurry background that you would see in uh, movies and such. And so, uh, when I saw that you could do that, you know, you, that you could uh, film on a DSLR, because at the time, just for, for reference, uh, when you used a DSLR, you didn't have live view and such. You would usually just shoot through the optical viewfinder and that would be it. Now, D90 changed the game and uh, when I came back from that uh, vacation, uh, I started googling this thing, right? And it was around the time when Canon released 550D and 600D, which were, you know, affordable enough cameras that featured Full HD uh, manually controlled uh, video modes. And so, you know, I loved Ni my Nikon D80. Uh, I took some of my, mo my, my favorite pictures with it, but uh, I thought, you know, what else I love? I love making videos, and uh, I really, I'd really love to get that nice bokeh. So, after some thinking, um, I sold Nikon D80 and upgraded to 550D, Canon 550D. And uh, before upgrading, of course, I perused the reviews on DP Review site for hours on end. And they were thorough reviews, like they had a comparison tool, uh, first for photo, later for video, where you could compare a bunch of different cameras and uh, see differences at different ISOs, you know, different settings, different lighting conditions. They tested everything, like, and they were among, I think, uh, very few websites that actually tested, extensively tested, movie modes on these, uh, you know, emerging video SLRs, as uh, they, were, they were called. But my journey with DP Review did not stop there, because I upgraded like a maniac. I upgraded 550D to a GH2 from Panasonic, then I moved on to 60D and so on. There were too many cameras to mention, really. But uh, yeah, I uh, would always check DP Review to see their tests, to see the test charts, to see, uh, you know, uh, what they found uh, wrong with the camera, what they found right with the camera. And uh, it was my go-to source, and it was also my go-to source for news for many years. I would uh, frequently go on DP Review just to read something, and that leads me to, an to my other point. As you've probably noticed, I'm not a native English speaker, and DP Review actually helped me improve my English skills. I picked up a few expressions, uh, some of them, they, they, I think 
almost overused them, uh, but I still remember that for a few years they kept using this expression in their reviews. Nothing to write home about. They would always say this when some feature didn't live up to their expectations. They'd say like, movie mode on this camera is nothing to write home about. And I always found it kind of funny, uh, the expression, I picked that up. And uh, they also use this postfix, I think that's what it's called, wise. They would always say like, uh, battery wise, this camera is nothing to write home about, right? Uh, so I actually picked up quite a few expressions and, and some words and some uh, things. Uh, and uh, it was an invaluable res resource for me because uh, I could enjoy my hobby, right? My hobby, I could uh, read about cameras, I could read about photography in general. And uh, as I did so, I would also uh, learn English. So that was really cool. So I want to thank people like Richard Butler, Carrie Rose, Dale Baskin, and all the other people who worked at DP Review editors, writers, you did a great job and uh, you made a great website and I think it's really such a loss of this big resource, almost like a library, such a, an enormous database that is just going to, you know, disappear. And I think that is a travesty. I hope that DP Review staff lands on their feet, as they say, and uh, finds positions that suit their expertise and that we'll see more reviews from DP review writers on some other website, probably. And I just uh, want to say thank you. So, thank you. If you have ever used DP review, tell your story in the comments. How did you stumble upon it? Uh, what cameras did it help you choose? Stuff like that. See you next time.